Yeah, I have done it now. Done it now. All right. Hi, everyone. My name is Deb Purcell. This is my husband, Rick, and we are healers. My husband is created, is created, <laughs> is created. Right? Here we go again. The, the, no the brain and the mouth aren't working. <laughs> my husband is connected to source creator energy. They merged and I received downloads so I could see inside the body as he is uh, the healing energy is healing you. Um, I also receive information on your past lives that are affecting this life and um, any, what else do we have? Any deception? Or... Yeah. You can go ahead from here, Rick. I'm just not working today. <laughs> yeah, so the, I, I scan a person and Deb gets the information of what's wrong, what's going on. And that's for healing, past lives. Um, and that's it, Phil? For my turn yes go ahead yeah i've been uh i've been healing since uh since i can remember uh, I, i'm connected to uh i've always been connected to the trees and you know the wind and stuff like that since i was about seven four when i was healing i connect to a lot of me aspects for help guidance and I also uh, have help from uh, a few star seed oh. beings. Yeah. Uh, what else? I've been, I've been, I've just found out I had a broken ankle for the last seven weeks last night. <laughs> so I've been walking with a broken ankle. <laughs> wow. But they said it surprisingly healed well, and there's a lot of anomalies on it. So I've probably been using anomalies to fix it. Uh, or I believe that everything is possible in yeah. healing. All you have to do is believe it's going to heal. Once you start not believing, you put in blocks. Yeah, wand. Yeah. That's me. Thank you. Can you go get the wand? That wand? Where's that? It's I, 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 brought, I brought my mm. wand that my grandchild bought me. It's, it's from Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm not sure if it works though with Rosie. Somebody has a real negative energy in there. Whew. I don't know where it's coming from, but somebody's got one. Oh. I had to go get my selenite one. Jillian. Where's Jillian? Is Jillian still with us? Hi. It's not me hey, again. What, what have you brought here? It's Whew. not me as it again. Oh boy. Yeah, Jillian, it is you again. What's been going on? I've been to the hospital. Um, and I've been doing some clearing, so it may have come in then. Oh. I've been doing that. Have you had stomach problems? Um, a little, not a lot. I've been doing clearing from the sacral um, my grand my grandchildren have come down with really bad um dmv bugs there's some kind of worm there's a parasitic worm like you see what I'm talking about, Phil? Is this from a long time ago? <sighs> because um, years ago, after some surgery, um, I just couldn't stop being sick for months.
Was it major surgery? Yeah. Yeah, um, I had um, lots of um, ovarian cysts, and it took years. In the end, I had a hist full hysterectomy. It just right. kept going on over years. So yeah, that could do it. Your would have been very weak, very weak. Yeah, because um, I had, I even had like a form of sepsis with it. I had to go back in the hospital. Right. You are healing in a clearing. It, that started when I was about 17, 18. Hmm. Does it come and it, it might come and go then. Normally they feast on a certain area and it makes you weak then and they, they go that back is been, um, the big major thing that I've had to have multiple surgeries on. Yeah. Okay. But I just wanted to make sure it isn't something, you know, that I've got a weakened aura or it's when I um knowingly go on the astral because I don't ever knowingly travel anywhere. Yeah, your anomaly get fixes, but when you have major problems, the energy weakens and also the, where the area is, it can weaken your aura field and these uh, spiritual parasites can nip in. And they can lie yeah. dormant for a while and then they can come and go and just feed if well, you want. Well, feel like since I've been in this group, it's like peeling away layers of an onion. Yeah. That how it feels to me. And yeah. I'm, I just thought, if, you know, am I at the end of it? Hmm. Okay. Because I've had major, well, you know, the energies that came in on the 11th and now the eclipse energies connected to the Pleiades, um, I feel like the chakras have had major activations and I just wanted to make sure when you tagged me um, that um, nothing had come in at that time because things can when you're weak, can't they? Hmm. Definitely. Okay. Uh, just close your eyes and let us know what, what you feel. So weirdest thing, um, I, I, it's almost like it showed me almost like the Cinderella where they took a magic wand and, and it went on the outside of you and just removed all this old energy. Just, mm -hmm. I don't know if you could feel it on the outside and and took it away, just like a tornado, removed all this energy because it was old energy that was um was there. It just like had it disappear, removed it all. 
and that mm -hmm. included the, the parasites that were around you and were causing, and I don't know whether this was gonna be a future incident, but it was making me so sick to my stomach. But it's all gone. Yeah, um, I have, uh, like in the past, I, it got to the point where as soon as I ate or drank, I was sick. And like you say, the stomach cramps and it was almost um, twisting, yeah. twisting in the internal um, stomach area, everything around the stomach area. I just felt um, like now my face feels clammy and I felt energy at the back of my head yeah I, it, it was so weird and it, it just reminded me of like the cinderella where they changed her into this beautiful gown that's what it looked like you you went from rags to like beautiful it was like it I just and then, oh, yeah i just i'm just asking you can this be can this be the end of the <laughs> the end of the tunnel um, is it possible to ask about my grandson, Arlo? Yeah. Do you have um, a picture? Yes. Well, that, let's see what Phil has for you, though, first. Yeah. I forgot I'm I still questioning that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, they weren't the normal. Now, for anyone who doesn't know parasites, these are spiritual parasites, they're invisible that can get into your, we have an aura field to actually block these out. And when we're weak, they can get through. Uh, or when you're healing and you're not protecting yourself, they can get, actually get through as well. Uh, these were, they weren't many. They were lazy. They were eating uh, off your negative energy. And they weren't the beetle type, they're more like the worm type. And if you, if you leave them, they go quite, few inches long uh, like like tapeworms no fat things oh. <laughs> i had one once transfer over made me ill for 24 hours and i blew it up uh you what what you do is to get rid of these you know fevers normally can get rid of them but this looks quite a, a clever one so uh if you can <clears throat> If you ever think anything comes back, just program your brain to fever. Just make it 100, 100, 105. Uh, yeah, that's been happening, actually. Um, because I've obviously, with the medication I've had to take from the other thing, Yeah. from the imprint, um, I have to check my blood sugars. And I was really hot and sweaty. And I thought, I've, I must have gone sky high. Hmm. Checked my blood sugars and they were fine. I think I said. Like, I, I, I think I told you last time. If you can make yeah. your make make your feet have fevers in the middle of the night when you sleep for ten minutes, you can kill. Yeah. You can get rid of all these para, uh, spiritual parasites. Yeah, these have come from when I was a lot younger, and obviously, I've only actively been conscious for about six years. Yeah. So the the things that I've got now have been you know, from my teens and when I've been younger. Hmm. Okay. Well, I, I agree with Debbie, you're a lot more clearer. Whatever peels off next time, we just don't know. But I Did you, you want should... to pick up anything on my thyroid gland? No. Did you, uh, Deb? <clears throat> Let's see anything. Okay. The only thing I would say is, are you letting them in somehow? Have you got have you got something that's letting them in? Yeah. You just felt well, the only thing I know, because I'm not visual, is that they felt old. I yeah. didn't feel like I'd got anything new, but um I'd say over the last week, the cramps have started coming back in my arms and my hands. I think, what, I think what we've been doing is getting rid of some, but it's quite a few. And then the yeah. young ones grow, and then we're getting rid of that. So 
yeah. but your fevers would have got rid of a, a lot, definitely. Yeah, good, good. I just, <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing, but I really do hope that I'm um, towards the light at the end of the tunnel. Because mm. I say it just feels like peeling layers off an onion. Yeah. And I'm like, what next? What next? Because I'm like, yeah. Yeah, that's it, Fa it, father, it. father keeps saying he's saying to me, no, no more next. No more. All done. That, you, yeah, you need to start saying, no, you know, I'm done. I'm fine. Mm. I'm perfect. I'm whole. I'm I I am I am beautiful. I'm I'm perfect. I've been saying that this week. I'm like, no more, I am done now. I yeah. am not a breaking point because yeah. no what no. I've given I can handle I can handle and there's always an answer there's always a there's always a solution to everything but I am like my challenges are done now there's no more to yeah. be learned yeah and no. um, it's just never seen my grandson you got a yes. card first you got a card first uh Julian to say stop stop Uh, it's a bit dark in it. Nature. Yeah. Uh, I think you know what that means, don't you? You know, go go into the nature more. Yeah, I think we got something similar last time because yeah. I was going to trees, but I've been able unable to physically go there. Yeah. But you can do visualizations and meditations. Mm -hmm. There's always a way around it and calling in nature spirits. Even just connect to a, something very close to you. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much. Yeah. I'll show you Arlo. What's his name? Arlo. Arlo? Yes. Okay. How old is he? Just three and a half. Yeah, I think he's just three and a half. Yeah, all, almost three and a half. Is he clairvoyant? He's very um, sensitive. Um, when COVID hit, his mum took him to a supermarket and he crawled under one of the shelving units and he was just sobbing and he wouldn't come out. And uh, something's affecting his speech. He can't speak. He makes sounds. He says uh, it makes a sound when he wants something. Um... And he cries a lot in his sleep. And he wakes, sometimes he wakes up crying. Has he ever spoke? Yes. Um, my daughter found a video because um, he crawled really young. And he was saying, Mum, Dad, Nan. Uh, whereas they usually just say Dad, don't they? And because he lived with me um, until. <laughs> Ooh, it'll be two years in January. Vaccines. And he did. He did um, speak. He did. He, he, he as a as a baby he was he was babbling and like they were saying, "Mom, Dad, Nan." In fact, my daughter found a video because it's been so long since we've heard him speak. Um, she was like, "Mom." When I next, because she's trying to get hold of a speech therapist, and um, she struggles to get hold of her all the time. 
time and they aren't really helping because he's very intelligent. They give him cards with pictures on and the word underneath and he mm. can give you the card for what he wants and what he wants to do but he tries to say the word and he, he can't, he gets frustrated. Can he speak yeah, can... at all or not? Sorry? Can he speak at all or, or is that just gone? Um, he says a word that sounds like that, but it isn't very clear. Mm -hmm. And my daughter had him saying, uh, he almost like it sounded like I do. Mm -hmm. And then he stopped saying that altogether. What he might be doing, because he's not saying it right, and people are saying, you're not saying that right. He might just not no, say it. No. You know? No, he, um, he tries, he gets frustrated, and then he'll just sit and cry. Exactly. He doesn't want to speak because he gets frustrated. Sometimes... No, what I mean is, what I mean is um, we, we, he's encouraged to say any sound. Yeah. We've tried um, nursery rhymes with him, everything. And uh, sometimes he'll get... Because uh, he can't express how he feels and what he wants... Um, obviously, it becomes difficult then. He'll either throw himself on the floor and cry. But he, he does actually try. And when I felt into myself, it's like there's something on his vocal cords. Hmm. And my friend said she sees, because she didn't know he didn't speak. She just said it presents to her like he's got a padlock. Hmm. It, she, how it's presented to her is like he's got a padlock. Um, on his vocal cords. When I when I was a child, I couldn't speak very well, and I used to get picked on with that. And what I found was the position of my tongue was straight, and it should have been curved. Yeah. And that yeah, is the only not hmm? he was short tongued. Yeah. To check the the skin underneath, and it's fine. Yeah, but no, I That's used to have a straight true. tongue, and if you if you ever speak with a straight tongue, you don't speak correctly. If you curve yeah. it, you do. Uh, do you want to show a picture and I can send him some codes? To show us a picture again. Yeah. Okay. Have I got your, I'll have permission. Can I ask you something, Julian? Yes, ask me anything. Did they notice that he was sp speaking fine, but then after he got his baby vaccines, vaccinations, that it happened after that? No. Um, what happened, what, what I noticed, is that he was saying, babbling, saying mom and dad and nanny. And then it was almost like he... He just he just stopped, and I, we can't remember whether it was the vaccines or not. We just we just don't know. I'm we getting just... I'm getting the back, I'm getting the, the information that it was his the baby vaccinations that did it. And, um, is there anything we can do about that? Because obviously, you know, they they can have these effects, can't they? Well, I'm going to ask Phil. Yeah, I'm connecting to. I'm, I'm trying to. Connecting He's so pleased on the photo because he insisted his reindeer he was making for school was green. He wasn't having a red nosed green deal, he was having a green nosed. Very rebellious. Yes. Has he got any younger children? Wrong yes. Brothers and sisters? He's got um, a younger brother, Oakley. Hmm. 
who's um, he isn't two until January, and he is he is trouble. He is he's trouble. Did he lose his? Has he lost a lot of his voice since his bit since the two year old was born? No, no, he when, wasn't speaking. When did he, he start speaking. losing? I'd say probably about five months when he was about five months old. Right. And he spoke before that? He was saying mum, dad and nan. Right. Katie actually had forgotten and found a recording of it and a couple mm -hmm. of weeks ago when she sent it to me. Okay. He was crawling and as she was recording, he was looking at the phone and he was say, she was saying dad and he was saying dad and, I, and then he said mama and then he said nana. No, he, she didn't prompt him to say nana. So I'm trying to think at what age he would he would have had his, his first lot of um, immunizations. I'm not sure. Did he have them at one? I'm not sure, I don't know. Most of mine didn't have any. <laughs> I, uh, I didn't have um, a lot of mine. And I remember having whooping cough really, really badly. I was off school for months with it. Because I think um, I've got an auntie who's 10 years older than me and um, she had a reaction to um, that vaccine, so they didn't let me have that. There was quite a few I didn't have. But it, it's an odd one because I can't figure it out. I know he's extremely sensitive um, because um, nothing she said when um, he felt all the energies of fear and everything else around him in public, nothing was getting him from underneath the shelving in the shop. I can tell you that he's clairvoyant. Um... The, um, to be honest with you, the first energies outside my own father and spirit that I picked up on was his granddad's. And um, what brought it to me attention was, how old would he be? It was before he was two, um, he saw a reflection of himself in a phone and he pulled the exact same expression as it would have been his great great grandma. The exact, and he went, "Ooh, exactly how she would when he saw when he saw himself. She would have pulled and and done the exact same thing." And my daughter recorded him do it, doing it, and we all say that's Grandma Bessie. Mm -hmm. Well, I've done some of it. I'm keeping it. Let us know if there's an improvement. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much, everybody. You want a card for her? Yes, please. Can very you? Un... What? Can you decide when to stop for him? I will. It's very unusual what he had. So I'm not 100%. He's quite poorly at the moment. He's, um, and I think he picks up a lot of the energies from the children in his class at school too. Mm. Uh, divine timing. Yeah, I think there's a timer on his pad on his padlock. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. I want to do um, Benjamin um, before, because I don't want to forget um, this. 
young man has the jab. Right. He didn't have a choice. He's a he's in Canada. I thought everyone had the choice. Well, he doesn't have a and not in Canada. Uh, he either you, you have a the jab or you lose your job, and unfortunately, he can't go without a job. Uh, is permission, yeah? Yes, we have permission. Right. When I call me aspect for this, uh, Deb, she just swears Pardon? at me. <laughs> She's uh, see, okay. She's seen all my 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 vulgar part of me thing, and she she just thinks it's normal. So I'm not saying what she's saying. Mm. Mm. I only I think he one was a. Uh, it looks like only one was a uh, vaccine. He got one placebo. Which one did he get? Moderna. I was going to say that Moderna. It's, yeah. I'm I'm even out breathing out just doing this. Ah, looks like the second one was the placebo. That's a good thing. You see that? There's about eight different ranges, eight different grades. So people think they're all the same one or not. Has he had any side effects? Mm -hmm. Any side, side effects? effects? I didn't ask.
you are scanning murder. He uh, seems to be very hot. I believe at least the immune system and the vaccine do fight a little bit and they make make it quite warm. And he's, he's got a, he had a good gut problem. A gut problem? <sighs> a gut. Oh, he, he started getting a gut problem. Thank you. All right, so we're ready to go on. Move on. Thank you for doing that. I'm Is it free? Know. Have you scanned him? Hmm? Have you it's scanned free. him? Yeah. <clears throat> what? He asked if we scanned him. Yes, we did. And he's okay. Yeah, he's very, very hot. Uh, breathing's gone a bit worse, and he had a good problem. Okay. And he's now in harmony. Oh, that's good. Right, next one. Deanna Parsley would like some help, please. Hmm? Deanna? Hello. Hi. How are you today? Good. Good. Good, good. Sorry, my fridge went, so I've been multitasking. <laughs> Um, so ever since I had, it was a kid since for traumas, um, I feel like I've disconnected from my root chakra. So the, I'm feeling a cord about six inches down below my yoni. And I am sort of in a struggle of, is it my grounding cord? Is it, um, what is it I'm supposed to connect to? I'm really unsure. Um, I know it's definitely to do with safety. And I feel like it's also keeping me from manifesting. How, how long have you had this? Um, I'm going to say probably most of my life. Probably after the age of 10, definitely. You have an attachment. Is it you an attachment? A, you have a lost soul there. Okay. So that's probably why I couldn't figure out how to connect it or what to do with it. Is it a lineage? Henry John... Porter. That's his name. All right. Well, Henry John Porter, I don't want you connected with me. <laughs> Any other way. Henry John Porter. You're out of here. Let's see, he, um, he, haven't you had pain there? Um, I have pain all over my body, more, mainly on the right side. He's, um, it's been there a while. <laughs> there, there. Mm. Could, could this be a previous life that's come through? An, an attachment. Maybe. From the last life. Could be. I was getting it so old. That's a very good question. Matt, Dina, you might have brought, brought this with you. <laughs> I came in with oh, this. Yeah. My gosh. He was your husband. Mm. Is he part of the, the current ex-husband that I had? The current what? Ex-husband. Mm -mm. Okay. Previously. Previous husband. Mm -mm. You were Mary Lou Porter. He didn't want to let you go. <laughs> There's, yeah, when you're a bright light, they hold on to that light. <laughs> yeah. Wow. 
Well, it's time. When you used to see people, Dina, in your life, did you have problems that occurred that were very unusual? Oh, all the time. There he is. He didn't, he didn't want to let you go. <laughs> Even in this life. Yeah, I've watched a lot of different things. You know, even uh, two days ago, it felt like there was anger around my head and my neck. And I don't know if something was trying to discombobulate me, but I felt like I was in like a sleeper hold the next day, um, disconnected from my body. So it, it's obviously, or whoever it is, very angry that I'm getting more free. Yeah, Henry's not ready to go. I receive all recommendations. That's <laughs> all right. Deb, is it his choice? Though? Hmm? Shall we just get him out? <laughs> you want to handle this one? <laughs> I don't mind. I, we have um, Jesus there. And... Call in the Wait, angels. And call in the divine angels to assist. And all the dragons and Henry, our life is done. I sever all the cords, all the connections, all the ownership, possession, all the abuse mm. that have been carried through, the hanging on. And I free both of us and clear all these contracts. It's really gross energy. I hope this is an instant miracle for all the, the weird body aches and pains that haven't been mine. <laughs> He's, he's, ready to, he's ready to go now. That's because he's met me. <laughs> <laughs> he's releasing. Yeah, the <gasps> oh, can take all the residue back with you too, please. You may feel some warmth or vibration in that area. He's pulling himself out. And releasing all the traumas that have aided in this connection through all time and space and past lives. Contracts and agreements. That explains why I keep wanting to, you know, protect myself in there. Oh, let that shit go. All right, Henry's gone. Now we need to heal that area. Holy body, I think. Uh, Dina, did your feeling go? I felt the divine portal open. And it doesn't feel as gucky. Hmm. I almost feel like maybe there's still some residue or memory. Well, it, it's He's been there a long time. We need to um, really heal that area. I brought uh, Ariel and Michael. I'm not a fan of Michael's. <laughs> He, oh, he jokes. Stop it. <laughs> he jokes at me, <laughs> but I brought him in, and they they took him for the to get sorted out. So. You love your brother. Mm. I definitely. What he says to me. Down in my uh, in, in between my crotch, it feels like something's moving. Just like bittersweet goodbye. It's almost like removing the memory bank of the trauma templates. Yeah, it's time to let all that go. Yeah. I'll, try, I'll balance your chakras because that, that would have wrecked your chakra system. Thank you.
my energy feels like it's turning into a fountain of an explosion of um, rainbow healthy light. Hmm. Thank you. I feel like this is going to transform my life. Yes, transforming my life. That would also explain some of that pain that I felt where it was like uh, different dimensions. I don't think I've cleared past lives as uh, lines or feelings on me yet. This is a good topic. I feel like where I've carried the weight of the world, shoulders, things are dissipating. Hang in my right ear, things are shifting on my shoulder. You see that white light go over her? Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. <laughs> I saw this white light go right over your 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 face yeah. turned white. It's like beautiful white. It's beautiful. Well, I'm noticing my light body increase more. Oh, this is, feels like it's also going to help me get my breath back where I felt like the lungs were yeah. separated. You're going to be so connected now. It's going to be amazing. Thank you. Oh, I get the sense of let's get the party started. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. It's an honor. You're a card. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Sorry on you today. <laughs> Meditation. Mm. Beautiful. I will do that today. Rediscover my new body. Yeah, meditation. I think your mind might have been a bit fuzzy, especially if you've had a what do you call it? A stowaway. <laughs> Yeah, you sure did. <laughs> so, yeah, that was quite, yeah, that's so unusual. That's, that's a new one as well. But, but a past life spirit's come through to live with you in this life. That's, wow. I learned so much from all of you. Thank you. We learned too. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a new one. <laughs> that, was a, that was a new one for us. <laughs> I'm going to uh, take two incense. I'll keep my camera on after we're done and I'll, I'll burn an incense for me and him and, um, and let see how the flame talks with that. I find that for myself, it works for me to uh, fully detach. Good. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Jackie. Okay. Melissa would like a body scan. And then she has a question for her friend, Rick. Okay. Melissa. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay. Sherry's daughter, Melissa. Okay. I'll do the healing. You, I'll do the scan. Yeah. Mm hmm Melissa, can you say something again? Hello. <laughs> How are there you? we go. There you go. Yes, we, we, we need to look at you so we can see your energy. <laughs> Phil always talks and it's the camera on him. You know, he likes that camera time. You need a computer. <laughs> you got a full screen. Here we go. <laughs> see, <laughs> he did it again. <laughs> uh, So 
something with the thyroid. Thyroid is immediately going to your thyroid. So you may start feeling a, a warmth here. It's doing a healing in your thyroid. Okay. And then your throat chakra, the chakra. It's almost like there is a block. I don't know whether it's from this life or a past life that you may have had that somebody stopped you from speaking, speaking your truth, speaking out, saying what you want to say. Somebody, it's like they, you weren't allowed to speak your truth. So there's a blockage in the, the throat chakra. So we're going to try and help you clear that. Now he's just going to your breasts. Showing me that there's cysts or there's lumps in your breast, but they're not cancerous. They were being removed, dissolved, just gone. You can see them like zap, 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 zap. All being dissolved. It's talking about your gallbladder. You had issues with your, your gallbladder? I don't know what that is. <laughs> it's next to your pain. I am not a doctor. <laughs> but next to your pancreas, there's, there's organs right underneath your breasts here. If you poke. Okay, like right. Yeah, if you poke. Here. Is it tender there? A little bit. He's saying you're going to have gallbladder problems. So he's going to have to heal your gallbladder. That mm -hmm. means if you poke there and it's a little tender, yeah, you have, gall, you have fatty, you have chunks of gunk in there. Okay. Be tender there because I can poke there all day long and there's nothing. And I eat vegetables. I don't eat meat. <laughs> I don't eat. Well, I have been lately because somebody still likes to eat meat. And I have <laughs> one meal in this house. But um, it, there's fat, a lot of fat in, in meat, and um, your gallbladder is, is a filter. Eat beets, everybody, beets. It clears out your gallbladder. It does, it cleans it out. It's a very good. Radishes, beets, things like that clear. It, it goes in and, and clobbers all the, the, the lumps and the gall, gallstones. It, it kind of clears it all out. So if you, like, if you don't like beets. Beets are one of my favorite. <laughs> Learn to like them because your gallbladder loves them. But he's he's um, he's saying that there if it's tender there, that means your gallbladder is having it, it's having issues filtering what you're eating. If you hit like fried foods, your gallbladder is going to suffer for it. If you like fatty foods, your gallbladder is going to suffer for it. Fried chicken, uh, beef. Yeah, can I have a break while I go in the kitchen? <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> I'm not a fan of meat. Okay. Well, anything fried. So it's it's if your gallbladder is it is 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 tender because there's something that you're getting gallstone. So he's showing me all that. So I'm just giving you the lecture because I had to lecture him. <laughs> I went in yesterday and I um they told me that they think I have um, a herniated disc in my neck because it's been very sore. I do a very physical job and I don't know whether it's from that or- Can, can I just say something? 
Is yes. it a very stressful job? Um, not you have over a lot of stress. The the work is not stress. Sometimes the coworkers are. <laughs> the people are. <laughs> I think the stress is you're keeping the stress and it's going to your weak point, which is your back. You need to ground yourself, do a little bit of meditation, just ground it away, just send it away. If you have your forehead quite warm now and again, that's the stress that's filling up in your head. And what happens is it leaks out of you. It can normally go to your joints, create arthritis, but I think you're getting it in. <laughs> And that's how it's it. Sorry about that. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> I warned my son to say, text me if you come. So I know I can put myself on mute. But I haven't looked at my phone, so that's probably why. <laughs> but I think, I think you need to de-stress yourself as well. Okay. How's your back now? Because I've been doing a lot of work on it. It's not nearly as bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you do, last resort, don't have a disco. I know pe people have had disco and they're never right afterwards. That's the last resort. Yeah, sometimes you take a, a, a disc out to repair it, but it doesn't. Yeah. So. Okay, so the, you've got a double, you've got pain in your back with your disc problem. You've got stress that feeds, makes it worse. So, yeah. And he healed your gallbladder as well. So you won't feel that tenderness will go away. Um, Thank you. He also went in and um, What is that? You went in your bladder and also did healing in your bladder. And you're, you did, did you do the whole back or just part of the whole spine? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So th this healing goes on for a week. Drink a lot of water, bless your water so that it, it flushes through. You know how to bless your water or how, what you can do another trick is hold the glass and think of the best moments in your life and just put it into the water and then drink it yeah okay. thank you you want a card yes please yeah oh um i've uh I've been jabbed twice. I'm also, we're also in Canada. And that was part of my job to requirement to stay. I had oh. to have it done. Oh, do you want do you want any bad if, anything for you not for your eye or good? Do you want that removing? Do you want us to remove the toxins? Yes, please. I'll give you a card. Actually, I'll give you a card after because it'd be a change. <laughs> Okay, let us know what you feel. When I call me aspects, I don't have to have you, so not.
Capio Ascana. Okay. Hi. Capio yes. Ascana, uh, is it Melissa? No, it's Scander. Is it gone? Okay, we're, we're done. No, it is the vaccine gone. Oh, it's, let me scan her again. Yeah. Can you speak again? Um, Melissa. 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 <laughs> there we go. Yes. Yeah. You're good. Awesome. Did you feel anything then, by the way? Or nothing? Um, I felt while you were doing that the whole time, I kind of felt like my body was like vibrating a little bit. That's a good thing. Vibrating yeah. is actually a very good thing. <laughs> what it is, I've got an ancient aspect, uh, crystal source being. And what they do is they look at your 11th chakra, which is a copy of you, of your cells. And they take that and then they copy it basically. They make it good. So you might even have a healing from that. So if there's anything we've missed, they could repair it as a side effect. Um, right, do you want a card? Yes, please. Yeah, you should have had two, really. So one before, one after. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell us where. Okay, now. That's good. Uh, Harmony. Harmony. Probably cat I'd like, but I'd never get that at the moment anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and can I ask you if my friend, um, he, he's uh, going through a lot of cancer treatments right now. And um, I'm wondering if there's anything that I can do or to help him. I can show you a picture. Okay. Yeah. By the way, the uh, harmony means let go of the troubles. Yeah. So what treatment is he having done? Is he having chemo? Chemo, yes. Yeah. Speak Where? again, Cher. I mean, Melissa. His, his name is Rick. Rick? Yes. Okay, does he know you're asking us for assistance? Uh, he, I, I, he's given me permission to, for my mother to help with assistance okay. from healing him. Okay. But I didn't particularly ask him. That's all right. That's all right. I'll ask his Open to healing. Yeah, where's he got the cancer, by the way? Pardon? What, where does he go? Where is his cancer? Um, they found a large mass in his appendix and uh, colon. Yeah. And they found um, tumors on the outside of his organs, but they don't know what, whether they're cancerous or not um, until um, they shrink the one in his appendix enough that they can operate and then they'll know of the others. But he's looking... Um, he's been saying that he's going to have a major operation after all this because they want to remove two layers of stomach lining as well as a little bit of this and that in his organs to remove the cancer. Okay. Uh, have, you, have you got any stages? You know, maybe stage one, two, three, and four. They weren't sure whether it was three or four. They said that this is a very rare one that what they know of it, the life expectancy is three to five years. Mm -hmm. But um, they said, really, we can't say because it's so rare and we've done so little um, treatments for this type. Okay, what I can do, I can try and get rid of it. The problem I've got is, is he had the chemo? He's had the, he's in yeah. the last of round five of chemo. Yeah, the chemo for healers is worse than the cancer. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. So it could affect me by doing this. To get rid of can cancer. I, can I stop you guys for a minute? Yeah. He is. He is an angel. He's an angelic. Yes. Um. You, you you knew that. I I kind of got that from him. He is an angelic. Um. Before he came here, 
and he is one of Archangel Michael's. Um, before he came here, he asked to experience this. Uh, many angels asked to experience cancers because they thought it was a piece of cake to do this. He asked for this illness. This is his contract, Phil. Yeah, but I, I don't believe in contracts. I know you don't believe in contracts. <laughs> I know. Especially if it's to do with like. <laughs> Even if he asks for it, um, he's able to get through it still? Well, a possibility. This is, this is the experience he asked for. He asked for this experience. But for an this, yeah. this was his experience he asked for. This, this, specifically this cancer. Um, but, you know, he, <laughs> Phil's still going to do what he's going to do, even though he, this is what this, this, this angelic being asked for. Every time I ask him how he's doing, too, and if he's still in pain, like I'm always trying to do some meditation distance healing for him. And his his comments always are, as, um, it is what it is. It's I'm fine. I will get through this. It's all in time. And this is always where he goes to. And it, it, he kind of amazes me in that sense, because I, I, you know, you can't imagine what pain they're going through because yes. he he says he sleeps 18 out of 24 hours of the day. And the only way to relieve the pain is to lay down. Yes. And I, I feel for him. I really want to try to heal him. And, but yes. his, he's very positive. Yeah. Well, the, the healing to, to, to reverse anything like this is two things that feed cancer. One is the fluids of the body. So obviously alkaline body would be helpful. Number two is the energy of the body. So you try and put a bubble around to stop the energy and break the fluids. If you show me the picture, I will do my best. Yeah, even if he has got some contract. The contract might also say that I'm going to fix him. <laughs> right, okay. That's all. Right, okay. But if you let us know, if you can keep us informed that with uh, improvements. Uh, yeah. Do you want a card for him? Yes, please. I'll share that with him. Okay. We'll be right back. No. Tell us when. Yeah. Hmm? Now. Don't have to get dreams. 
What does that one mean? Basically, he should keep a pen next to him and see what he dreams. He, he's getting spiritual messages in his dreams. Okay. Okay. So hopefully. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Did you have that burger then, Dad? We just had the burger. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. Frankie would like some direction from source. Frankie? Hi, guys. First time here. I'm so stoked. <laughs> I'm so stoked to be here. <laughs> oh my gosh. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks. Do you think you, you're channeling source or con connecting to someone? Yes. Con um, connecting. Um, I've been told to do like prayers every morning and for <gasps> look, my dog is here. Nope. We all have animals. We have four cats, two parrots. He has a dog. You, we all have them. They're they're, they're my healer dogs. It's they so cool. They just want to get involved. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I don't know if I should even be saying like anything. It's weird, kind of. I feel like it's sometimes it's not trickery, but I feel like it's my own self doubt that doubts the messages that comes in because I know that what I've been doing it for three months now. I've been praying. Um, you know, I do the meditation because they told me do do the meditation, the 12D, the Christ consciousness, and then to say two rosaries and then say a prayer after that. To it's something that is helping the collective, I feel, or something in the future that's going to be preventative. I don't know. So for me, it's like I'm really close. I'm really close to God's source, the source within me, and I always have been since I was little. And I just want to make sure I'm not creating more karma for myself because there's a lot of trickery stuff going on. But um, the last three months I've quit everything. Like I've been so dedicated to me as a whole, no, you know, stop smoking cigarettes. I honestly feel like Archangel Raphael did heal me at one point, came and like this helped my lungs and just kind of gave me this total energetic um surgery i don't know like i you know just but um i stopped cigarette smoking like overnight don't drink don't smoke you know i married a musician so you know there's sometimes there's party times over here but i'm like okay i'm focused now you know what i mean it's trying not to eat meat you know dairy um i'm just like really in it to win it i i'm really want to do it's like i woke up like it's finally i'm they're like we're, we're worried about you you know what i mean we're like, they're like, we're glad that you woke up. You know, we're, we're worried about you, but now it's like, all right, just trust, trust the plan, trust. And I, for me, um, maybe my thing is I'm, it's hard. I, I trust, I really do. I feel it's, it's right, but I'm like, it's, I'm being pulled and I just want to make sure that I'm not creating more. A trick, uh, if you're channeling or you're getting information is feel the energy it's, it's coming from. If it's high vibration, it's normally okay. If it's low vibration, then you know I'm getting tr a trickster pretending to be someone else. Uh, yeah, I think learn, learn that. I don't know, actually. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I have. I have actually because they they kind of taught they kind of taught me to know the difference. They're like, yeah. oh, but a lot of gibber gibberish means trickster, you know. <laughs> when it's divine, you know, source, then it's what we, you know, it's pretty clear. <laughs> yeah. But see, I don't know, since you guys are more They never like tell that. you what to do. They never tell you what to do. Okay. Ever. Okay. Yeah. Creator, creator's pure love. Pure love. Mm -hmm. He never tells you what to do. None of the okay. angels okay. tell you what to do. Your guides yeah. don't tell you what to do. Some of the angels might be giving you lessons to learn. You get lessons, and this is your lesson to believe in yourself. Sure yeah. yeah. They don't give you guilt. That's that's not you know, 
guilt is not from it's nothing but love and yes you do, you get lessons you get tested but there's never anything that's that's a demand or to tell you what to do this is a free will world the choices are up to you but there's definitely us trickster energies out there mm. now i had an Ela who was connected supposed to be connected to michael and she wasn't she was connected to a trickster who was pretending to be michael and it's the energy and uh, i spiritually bind about a bounder a binded her not to come and the demon that was connected to her and she never came again and she was well known at the center i used to be really so you got to be careful with that sort of thing another i wanted to say what between the ages of eight and eleven i used to get attacked by demons all the time and it wasn't it was angels sending me demons to train me for warrior work <laughs> they're nice aren't they <laughs> It's so, funny that you said you're that. Totally different, though, Phil. I mm -hmm. mean, you're 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 totally different. You are a walk-in. They don't yeah. do that to us because we're not walk-ins. <laughs> you're a totally different type of being. <laughs> you can't compare you to us <laughs> unless you're a walk-in. Mm. How do you know? Like, I, I just like this is just so. You would know. Yeah, you would know. You normally know, haven't got the same chords or code, or the, your plan is it's not really there. And you do remember before you walked in as well. You you remember how you you flew in with your guardian. Yeah, they, they, okay. your your memory would be there because yeah. a walk in is given their memory. It's so well, that you're prepared. The memories are deleted. <laughs> I'll talk out before you get in. Yeah. yeah. It, it's well, totally different for for somebody like like, like Phil. Uh, Frankie, do you want some healing? And I've been told, do you want a code? Uh, what do you call it? A key? <laughs> you might be given some. Up. And and Frankie, well, yeah. you're never Frankie, you're never ever not connected to Creator, to Source Energy. That connection's never, ever not there. From the time that you are brought into, or, or, you know, this incarnation starts. It, I mean, at, at any time, you're never not connected. He's always there. You're always connected. Every breath you take. Always. I truly um, thank you. I truly, I truly believe that. I know that um, when I was seven, I had a dream. You know that I was going to, that I'm here to do something before I go back, you know, but, uh, and then now when I, I knew that it was going to happen at 50, 51, mom, 51 now. And then, um, late, like the last three months I've been working really close with source and queen mother Mary. And I don't know, like, you know, it's kind of like this, I'm living alternate world. Sometimes it's like, it's, it's like, I'm not here, but I'm there. And I see like snow covered mountains in the sky and and, and, but I'm just like, I'm seeing things, but my husband thinks I'm crazy. And my, you know, my son's cool. He's just like, whatever, you know, but, um, but it's like, I just want to make sure I'm on the right, right path, even though I feel it in my heart, I, I am, but I just don't want to create any more karma if I'm not, you know what I mean? I want to make sure that if, I'm just. If your family think you're crazy, you're on the right path. Okay. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, we all go through that. Mm. <laughs> Yes, and, our family yeah. thinks we're nutters. <laughs> Thank you. I'll give you some healing. You might get a download. That's why I'm okay. giving you healing. Uh, do you want some yes. healing? Yes, absolutely. Thank it's you. It's to help your path. That's it. Okay, just close your eyes.
Did you feel that? Yeah. Felt it above my belly button. It was like a little <laughs> and then um <laughs> and then it felt it. like um I've got some info. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, that image that you see is your star seed. Your star seed. And I can't work out if it's a Jomado or Prodium. I think it's it's I know serious B has been coming in. Yeah, but it's your aspect, your star oh. aspect, uh, oh. which is connected to one of them being a cat. I'm well connected to Andromeda. I think it's more like Paradium. Yeah. Like who? Paradium. The Paradium. Is it? Am I saying it right? Palladian. Play, That's the one. <laughs> oh, gotcha. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and you're seeing the image of the planet. You're actually seeing oh. the planet. So there you go. So I'm not, I'm not really going crazy then. <laughs> okay. You are to your family. Yeah. I, 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 all my family, apart from one, think I'm crazy. That's fine. <laughs> so I'm okay then. All right. Good. <laughs> all right. But this is all good. What's funny is if anything weird happens, my family think I'm crazy, comes to me and asks me. <laughs> I'm not as crazy then when something weird happens. <laughs> yeah. Little do they realize we're just all holding sacred space, right? And we're all just like, all right, we got to get through this. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I feel also that some, I don't know, like I feel like something big's going to be happening. I don't, you know. Don't yeah, that's know. the end of the month. Yeah. It's <laughs> like, um, so it's my prayers. Can I ask you, is my prayers that I'm doing something that I should keep doing or no? You've just, it, been, you've just been given a download as well, so it's something to do with that. I don't know what that is. So okay. I think you're doing everything okay. Doing everything okay. Fine. Yeah. As long as I know it's like, I know no, I feel like it. There was no negative energies on you anyway. So. Okay, thank so you. If, if you were connected to a trickster energy, you'd have a, you, what they normally do trickster energy is they normally stick an attachment to link up with you so they can link up easy and nick your energy. You have nothing. You're fine. Nice. All right. So yes. it, yeah, when he, when people connect to these tricks energies, their their main goal is to take your energy. So eventually they, they'll stick something on you to feed themselves. Slow, but we do it slowly over years. Yeah. I put to, I try to protect myself every day, like always, like just uh, it's constantly like yeah. And I've, um yeah. I never do. <laughs> You know, you know, I do. <laughs> I never, and I never protect myself. What you can do is, uh, you can do the halo, uh, like, like uh, visualize an halo above your head, and it changes color, and let it go down slowly to your feet in stages, and it changes color, and it can heal you, and it can ground you, get rid of attachments, and get rid of negative energies, but also uh, give you energy. Yeah. I just, you know, what? right when you were doing that, I literally felt like that energy go over my whole body while you were doing that. I was so, actually visual, I was I was I was picking up the visualization. So yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's from Atlantis, actually. You have, yeah, don't that. you have a um YouTube video on that? I have got it somewhere on me on my YouTube, yeah. But oh, okay. uh, that was from Atlantis that, that I was taught that in this lot. Yeah. I was taught that from my aspect from Atlantis. So I'm connected to all these lovely aspects that give me all this knowledge. Wow. Yeah. That's that's all that the one that you saw is the only one that I know of that I that yeah that's working with me, I feel exactly. trying to connect probably. The more connection you can do. That download would be the connection, I just don't know. Good, I hope so, because I really want to. <laughs> hmm. The the uh, Atlantis one, I actually shape shifted into him once. And frightened to death this medium because this medium had uh, took a took a, a spirit inside and it was a eighth dimensional spirit. So I had to change into the aspect and I physically changed and I told her not to watch see me and she did. And she said it was the most frightening thing she's ever seen in her life. <laughs> oh wow. Wow. Well, that's why they say go close your eyes sometimes. You know what I mean? Exactly. <laughs> go, exactly. go within. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, I wanted to, I don't know if you, anybody else, if you have anything else. You want a card? Did they ask. give you a card? No, sir. Mm -mm. No. I can't remember. Uh, do you want a card? 
Absolutely. <laughs> Read blessings, Michael. I like guessing to see what's going <laughs> on. Tell us what. Uh, stop. Oh. <clears throat> no, it's not blessing. It's power. Yes. Oh. Solar power. <laughs> power is you. You have the power of the Creator. Divine love, wisdom, intelligence is available. You can use this uh, to see the future and connect to angels. There you go. That's a good card. Wish I could get that card. Well, well you're beautiful enough as it is. You know that already. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my gosh. My heart is full. Um, and so, you know, I wanted to ask, can I ask another question? Is that okay? Go on then. Um, my son. So I just want to know if I can show you a picture, if there's like 20 years old and um, I just kind of want to check him out, make sure that he's, uh, he's okay. <laughs> I think I already know, but I wanted to get you guys his idea. Is that cool? Go ahead. Okay, Deborah. Deb, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Let me see. I don't know how to do this like with this, but uh here. That's him. His name's Deacon. Is he an angelic? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Deb. I don't know me do the scanning. <laughs> I'm asking his higher self if we can divulge anything. He's an aspect mm. of Saint Germain. Oh. <laughs> oh, no wonder why my dogs love him every time he walks through the door. <laughs> Do you know who Saint Germain is? Saint Germain is um Saint Joseph. To, uh, also um, uh, violet flame, violet fire yeah. flame. Yeah. So cleanses. No, we're we're in his time. Uh, this age of Aquarius. Well, yeah. I you know ever since he was little, I used to always think that he was going to be. Um, I pictured him like a shepherd, almost like how Jesus was in the mountains. He's um. He is uh, like an apothecary. He is, uh, I keep thinking of, of him. He's very good with uh, medicine and healing. And yeah, he's trying to figure out what to do with his life. <laughs> like he's just like stuck. I'm like, that'll come to you all in time. He's. If he, he has a lot of um, guides around him. If he would ask for their, ask, ask for them to find his joy, release himself to their care, he would be fine. Give them permission to find his joy. Okay. We all need to learn that. That's what mm -hmm. their job is, if, because they can see the future. We can't. Okay. It, and it'll happen. Oh. Thank you so much. Is he awake? Uh, is he? Does he think? Does he feel? Um. You know, the thing is, I I feel like he is, but you know, he's he's when he was little, he used to be able to see dead people let's just put it that way but uh, uh -huh. and i would tell him i would tell him not to like be afraid and whatnot but now it's like a total rebellious thing like mom you know i don't want to hear that like stop talking about that you know yeah. what i mean it's just like yeah. he's, you know he's in his own like guarded kind of point of view right now but he always comes over lately and he's like mom you know because he's 20 he's kind of filling out he's we live in florida like party central you know so he's just like coming into his own but um i'm like oh lord please help us all but um but it's okay it's his journey i trust it but um he comes over he's like mom can you sage me i feel like you know so i'm like oh all right now we're yeah. starting to 
starting to come around, come around a little bit. You know what I mean? Yeah. He feels the love. So it's all about feeling too. I want him to, you know, continue to feel and not be totally closed off, which, you yeah. know, is a protection mechanism. That's funny because I have a son that is fully clairvoyant and he refuses to now see anything. He just shuts it off. Sometimes it can be, you know, too much for them, you know, all at once. Because yeah. he lives by himself too. Like I really feel, I'm proud of him because he's like, independent you know he has a job he has his car own car he has his own place but he likes to come over to mom's and does his does his laundry and kind of connect with the energy here and of course yeah. you know i always put protection over his place because that's just what moms do but uh yeah yeah <laughs> so but he's divided he's obviously protected yeah well pretty yeah he is um to a certain extent but he's still a free will okay he has to make those decisions himself. He's an adult. Yeah. But so yeah. as his mom, do I just kind of just support him from afar? Yeah. You can't live his life. No, nope. <laughs> no. It's true. Right. Okay. Do, so, do you know, um, do you know, like my, my daughter's seen a gym go from a foot to six foot. My son's seen a black shadow coming out of the mirror. And my other one has seen a goblin. And none of them believe it. They don't believe in spirit always, but they've seen it. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing how they can see something, but they still don't believe it. Even though they did, did believe what they saw, they're not into it. So, it's a shame. The youngest yeah. is into it a bit. So. <laughs> well, I thank you so much. Um, I mean, uh, you guys scan, did you scan? Uh, can you scan my body? Is that okay? To ask You're or did you already do it? Hello, I'm good. You clear. All right. All right. Well, cheers. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I'm worried about then. I'm all good. I don't know what you're worried about either. <laughs> Thanks so much. I think the I only just... one putting blocks up are you. <laughs> I, I concur. <laughs> I concur. <laughs> well, you know what? Much love and blessings to you all. Thank you so much for everything that you do for you know not only myself but everybody on this phone call waiting patiently and everybody in the collective. So but God bless you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Take care. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah. Next is Sherry. Her grandchildren have been jabbed. Sherry, I would like to check my oldest grandchild. Yeah, yeah I've got two, my two oldest grandchildren. How are you all? Yeah, hi. Yeah, so they both had uh, two vaccinations. Um, I guess the last one would have been a couple of weeks ago. So I'd like to, to check them. They just uh, they just live next door, not too far away from me. Okay, how old are they? Um, uh, the oldest is Bella and she is uh, 14. And her uh, younger brother is uh, thir he just turned 13 in uh, August. Well, and she will be 15 in uh, yeah, first part of December. So we have permission to remove it. Phil. Have you got pictures of them? Yes, I do. Yeah. I'll bring up uh, her name. Well, we call her Bella, but her name is Annabella. Okay. All right. Can you speak? Yeah. Is that good? Yes. Okay.
Do you want, do you want to scan it? That can... can you put a picture back up, Sherry? Sure. Or a free scanner? Yeah. Talk to me so I don't see Phil. Oh, yeah. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all clear. Perfect. Thank you so much. And the next child? Next one. His name is James. Check. He's all clear, too. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Did you find anything in either? Uh, I, I actually got permission off the spirit of them both. Uh, but the, the girl is a lot, lot mature. A lot more mature than a 14 year old. Uh, she was connected quite easily. James was quite, a lot more difficult. Yeah, so, but yeah, it, it seemed fine. Okay. Perfect. So they're all clear from this. Yep. We only have, we only have, we only have permission to um, remove the vaccine. I don't have permission for anything else. Okay. They seem okay. Wonderful. Yeah, they, seem, they seem healthy. Wonderful. Thank you so much. I appreciate have, you guys. Have so you much. had it, have we? Pardon me? Have you had the vaccine or not? No, I haven't. Okay, well done. No, no, I'm kind of the rebel of the family. <laughs> so. Or the crazy one. <laughs> yes, that's right. You have the opportunity, you have your own business. Yeah, I do choice. run my own business. So I, you know, I'm not, I don't have that pressure on me as uh, in Canada here where, you know, mm -hmm. they're forcing me to, uh, to get the vaccine. And even if they did force me, I'd just close up shop. Yeah. Yeah. But some people just don't have that choice. Now, my husband, he did, um, he did have the vaccine. That was, but that was by his choice, not because he had to. Yeah, uh, the, ga ga the card is divine guidance, and that means that your prayers are being answered. Oh, wonderful! Yeah. That's a beautiful card. Thank you. Yeah, it's like in the UK, nothing's mandatory apart from the NHS by April. But last night I went in hospitals, you got to have a mask. But my exemption certificate that I made at work exempted me from wearing a mask. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else does. <laughs> So. Yeah, no, it's just, it's kind of crazy around here. Like the you know the lockdowns and the the mandates that they give people. Like you know, even well, Remembrance Day, you know, you you weren't supposed to be in any you know gatherings. gatherings of any kind other than your own family. You're like whoever's in your household. I mean, legally here. <laughs> we we like, we we here. <laughs> Yeah, we've stopped lockdowns. Simple reasons that many people have had the vaccine. So if you're in a country where it's an I take up, you don't go with lockdowns. But if you're in a low take up, we do lockdowns. 
right that's, that's the only relation to it it's crazy i think yeah. we're 90 percent here is that right no. we're we're 91 percent vaccinated 91 percent here yeah. wow 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 yeah sad eh yeah yeah yeah. All right. Well, thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah. I'm going to give you two names because I need to run down the hall. The first name is David, and he has a scan. He wants a scan for him and for his house, and he had several other things that he wanted uh, to ask about. The second name is Sally. And I will be right back. Okay. David and Sally. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. <laughs> Hi, David. Hi, David. Hello. Thank you for inviting me. You're welcome. Where is he? So what do you want to do first, David? Um, I've written a little. Have you read it, Phil? Oh, I've, got, I've got it here. Uh, okay. Okay. I have been um, doing, do you want me to read it out or not? Well, yes, if you think it will help, yes. Yeah, I've been doing meditation for a week, most days. I, do, I go to a class once a week, I have positive thoughts, and I believe I am making great progress with my paperwork and can now see the end in sight. Previous healing has helped, I'm sure. However, I do have a long-standing medical problem that specialists haven't yet fixed. I think you might improve it and maybe do a scan of me and my house, please. Also, I have some people who have been jabbed and once had a test myself, I like to be reassured. So you got people around you have been jabbed. That's yes, I mean. yes, yeah. I have. Um, I've also realised I got a skin rash that I think appeared after my test. Um, the medical medical problem is a thy low thyroid issue. Yeah. And although I'm seeing a consultant about it, he's not been able to help up to now. Um, I get brain fog. I'm tired. I'm so cold that I can't function, um, and I have a dry cough. Um, this week I've been sleeping until about 1300 most days, but I, I'm working really well in the evenings. I think things are improving for me. Um, so if you can just see what you can do for me, please. Okay. I, I see something on his thyroid. Um, it's more like a, an attachment than... Is this one from a past life? Yeah. I've had the thyroid issue since birth. I don't remember seeing this before. Is that an infant? Wow. 
Why am I getting this reading? Do you have problems with your back as well? Yes, my lower back hurts from time to time and also my neck and shoulder. Yeah, it's hurting me at the moment. <laughs> I do get a past life. I'm not sure if this is connected to the pain. I've got to check it first. You were a Viking. <laughs> you were a Viking. <laughs> But you were rum Viking, actually. <sighs> It's almost like these old energies have come back, David. That's why. Um, trying to make sense of it. Okay, thank you. It's like a movie playing. I'm seeing like a, a baby in a pram, like a stroller. I'm not sure if that's a baby that's in your that's attached to your thyroid. Just, just I'm trying to really make sense of this. I can remember a photograph of me like that. Really? Yes, black and white. In the 1950s. Is that well, a trauma? 1950s. Pardon? It could be a trauma. Yes, yes, there's been a lot of that, Phil. When you were, no, when, as a baby. Yes. You can have a trauma just by your toy falling out of your pram. And that memory can create illness later on. Even though it's nothing to us now, yes. at the time it was a big event. Yes. Um, uh, okay, but there were bigger traumas at the time. Yeah, yeah I think it's trauma. I've, I've sorted your, your Viking past life. It was nothing to do with this. It's just... It, I was checking it, and it was it, the door was open. So, but you you were quite a a jolly lad, I was quite so. Huh. <laughs> you know quite I mean. a change from now then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so this trauma, this trauma is affecting his thyroid. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So what we'll do, if you close your eyes, yes, go back to the time when the trauma was there, tell your inner child or the child then that everything's going to be fine. Everything, you're there, you'll always be there. And give yourself an hug. And whatever happened... Um, Phil, there have been so cool. many, I don't know which one to choose. Choose, choose the first two. The ones that okay. are the worst. Okay. Yeah. And whatever created this problem, forgive. Forgive them. Forgive them. Let them go. Forgive them with love. Because I don't know what created it, Phil. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't matter. If you meet your inner child or your child that was created a trauma and forgive everyone who created this. You know, you don't have to see who it is yeah. or know who it is. Forgive whatever was involved, wh whoever was involved. The, the whole scenario. I can forgive the whole lot in one go. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay. But remember to give your younger self a big hug and say everything will be okay. Mm-hmm. And we're all giving you love and a hug too. Thank you.
and your skin rash is caused because of it as well. Oh, okay. It's also old energy. Feel any different, David? I just feel fairly calm, Phil. Yeah. You had a lot of negative energy that's old. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what do you think, Dad? His face looks better, Arash. Thank you. Um, being around jab people is never going to affect you because your vibration is so much higher. Yes, yes. You're thank fine. You. Yes, thank you. You got a card? Yes, I do. Please, Phil. Yes. Now it's fine. All right, let's see. Power one more. Again. Okay, wise. You have such, David, you have such beautiful energy. It's really, really. Can, I, can I say you've got a lovely smile as well? <laughs> Thank you. I, it, I just enjoy um, having contact with you. So thank you. Thank you. And shall I tell you something? You might think I could smile nicely, but if you got a camera out, I couldn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> So David, you've got the power of the creator, so you can you can create so much. Okay. So remember that. Mm -hmm. Great. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. 
I'm very grateful. Thank you. Okay. Next is Sally. Sally Love. Sally Love. Hello. Sally Love. Hello, Sally. Hello, hello. How are you? <laughs> Can Good. you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Right on. Sally. All right. Well, I had a question. Uh, I keep hearing endocrine system for myself, and I don't know. That's a fairly large system of a lot of things that I don't. I don't know what's going wrong. What's going on with it? So I was hoping for a scan. Well, we can certainly do a scan, and you're talking medical terms with somebody who's not a medical doctor. So, well, I'll right? ask, I'm not either. I'll ask the expert. This is the stuff that just comes in, right? It's like, yeah. okay. They can, you can give me that term all you want. I have no clue what you're talking about. So I'll just leave it up to him. Is it something to do with hormones? Yeah, I think so. I have no idea. Thyroid, maybe. Again, again, Phil, doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> it could be a religious term for all I know. <laughs> Mm. it's amazing sometimes i've had to google that a little bit because <laughs> i haven't heard of it before myself. i i i won't google it i'm just going to go with what father tells me yeah mm -hmm. so we're going to scan you and see what happens here yeah i'll give you some healing right on thank you um endocrine i thought it was i thought it was a crime then actually endocrine Stop talking to right? Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> Get a computer. <laughs> Sally, speak to me. <laughs> hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Thank you. What was that? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you. He's plays these cruel tricks. <sighs> Father saying, stop focusing on that word. Because I'm sitting there going, endocrine system. And he's like, just forget that. Hmm. He's going to your brain. There's something. There's something there. There's something there. Does she have an attachment in her head? Oh my gosh. Do you feel like there's something there? Because I see there's something there. Interesting. <clears throat> it's, uh, there's something there. Oh, well, you guys have scanned me before. This is interesting. This must be new or yeah. come back up to me now anyway. <sighs> it's a square white box. I downloaded it. It's on the top of her head, like back here, right near her crown. It's not an implant, is it? I yeah, think, kind I, of, it I, was, I was kind of, that's what came in to me when you guys, that's what. It, that's what it is. It's the implants. <clears throat> From the bad guys. It's not a good implant. No. Can I just not. go to the end of it and get rid of it. 
before we get rid of it. Are you asking me? <laughs> no, I'm yes. asking Deb. Before okay. Deb gets rid of it, I like I'm to like, get rid of you and create the implant. <clears throat> Here's another one. It probably it's, be a, it's, it's right. It's at the top of her. That's where that her neck and her spine meet. Yep. Well of dream chakra. Right. But, yep. That's your input, isn't it? Your psychic input. Oh yeah. I felt I've that's interesting. And you got one at where your waist and your spot right at the where your hips and uh, your waist at the above your root chakra. They're all from the same place, by the way. Right at the middle of your back at your waist. And you've got another one right above your root chakra. 